Hey everyone, John Pinton coming to you from Oakland headquarters here in Vancouver, British Columbia. Today's episode is going to be discussing leasehold, uh, townhome projects around the lower mainland, in particular to Wasson. You're going to want to watch this if you're a first time home buyer or an investor looking to make a good return in the next year or two. There is a taboo about leasehold properties, but I'm going to discuss why leasehold might be a good option for you going forward instead of buying freehold where there's a huge demand and prices are getting out of hand. Leasehold is kind of a second option for people that people are turning to and I'm going to discuss that here um, with, you today, with you in today's video. If you could subscribe down below, like and comment, that would be much appreciated. So I was recently researching for a client some townhome properties out in Tawasson and what caught my attention was uh, this particular property is a townhouse, uh, brand new, built in 2021. Uh, just was uh, asking six hundred ninety nine thousand, and it just sold a couple of days ago for seven hundred fifty thousand dollars. Wow! In Tawasson, a leasehold townhome, fifty thousand dollars over asking price. Uh, it was uh, it's a four bedroom, three bath, sixteen hundred fifty one square feet. It's uh, built uh, by Mosaic Townhomes in Tawasson. It's called a Seaside Development. If you're on your way to the Tawasson Ferry Terminal, it's on your left by the Petro Canada station there. And this particular development has actually become very trendy for young millennials moving out of the city with people that are trying to start a family in Tawasson Ladner. And this is a price point that's very popular right now for, because people uh, can't afford a million dollar home in Tawasson or Ladner. So the next best thing they can afford is a townhome and they all want new. They don't want old townhomes. So anything that's built over 2010, people are just jumping in, regardless if it's leasehold or freehold. If there's an assumption that people are just buying freehold, but that's not the case, particularly in Tawasson, where there's all these brand new townhomes and the amenities are, are second to none at this particular development called Mosaic. They have a 10,000 square foot um, clubhouse with a swimming pool and a gym. It's a five minute walk to Tawasson Beach where you can have amazing uh, 360 degree sunsets facing west and you have a five minute walk to the golf, Tawasson Golf Course and you also have a five minute walk across the highway to Tawasson Mills which is a huge uh, multi-million dollar uh, uh, mall that they created a couple of years ago. And then if you have kids you also have Splashdown Park across the way. So there's lots of exciting activities to do as a young family in Tawasson and pretty much the only new construction happening right now in Tawasson Ladner Delta are these new townhomes, so uh, under a million. So the price point is roughly six hundred to eight hundred thousand, and this is what people are getting approved at right now. So I reviewed a couple properties recently, and just in the past few months, I'm seeing prices skyrocket. Everyone thinks that townhome or townhomes or leasehold in general does not go up, but it really does. Uh, I'm going to give you an example right here uh, for an older one built in 2019. This is a Unit 123, 1894 Osprey Drive, three bedroom, three bath, 1,500 square feet. It was sold in November 2019, originally at $661,000. And then as of February 2nd, it just sold for $790,000. So $129,000 profit to the seller. Well done in a couple of years of living on a leasehold townhome. There's also other uh, things that attract people to leasehold. Uh, one is there's no GST on these new townhomes, whereas if you're buying um, a freehold, you're gonna have to pay the GST, and there's no speculation tax for investors uh, from overseas. So when people start coming in from overseas again, even the United States, and they wanna buy a townhome, and they're not a permanent resident yet, they won't have to pay the 20% speculation tax, or uh, foreign buyer tax, pardon me, um, when they buy this townhome. So that's a huge plus. For investment purposes, if you want to buy this townhome and live in it for two or three years and then move up hopefully to a detached home in the future. Um, so basically I want to talk to you about a sale I found that happened in December. It was um, listed for $709,000, four bedroom, three bath, uh, 444, 4716 Orca Way, sold December 18th. Asking price 709, sold for 709. And then just recently, uh, there was a three bedroom townhome, even smaller, uh, 1,400 square feet, 
built in 2021, and it just sold for $784,000, sold February 8th. So $75,000 increase since December for, this, for these brand new townhomes out at Seaside in Tawasson. Mind you, this is a 99 year lease. The lease starts when you move into the property. It is a big change from Musqueam First Nation uh, leasehold in Vancouver over by Marine Drive and also the city owned lease, which is even uh, lower amounts to 2043. So they only have another 20 years left. So no, I highly suggest don't invest in any condos by city lease in Falls Creek. But if you, but Tawasson First Nation is a 99 year lease and they have a lot of money revenue coming up so they're not going to need to um, sell off your townhome in 99 years and, and make a new development and make a new mall it doesn't make sense for them so I highly suggest considering new townhomes or couple two to five year old townhomes in Tawasson and also Ladner there are some good projects as well I could touch on at a later point but this particular seaside development in Tawasson is super trendy I'm seeing a lot of millennials young families moving out here my parents actually live on Tawasson Beach and I'm out there actually once a week with my dog and I'm seeing a lot of new uh, faces uh, coming out to the beach and seeing the sunset and uh, it's an exciting time in Tawasson. There's the new mall and I think it it's actually a better place to be than South Surrey and Langley if you're a young family and you can afford $700,000. If you can't afford seven you you're going to have to go to Langley, Alder Grove where you can still get places for five hundred to 600000 but if you have a little bit of extra money, definitely consider Tawasson your next bet for a new townhome. And don't worry about your investment not going up. It does, as case in point, it went up $75,000 for this brand new four bedroom from December to February this year. That was my um, research topic for today. And I'll have more with, for you in the next video. Thanks and have a good one.